Hi guys, today we are going to unbox and uh, we will also do a tear down of this TP-Link uh, temperature and humidity sensor. Uh, inside box we have lanyard and 3M stickers along with the uh, SIM uh, reset tool. This product also requires uh, Tapo Smart Hub and this is not a sponsored video. None of the products I reviewed till now are not in not sponsored videos. So so let's open the box uh, this is the sensor mm, normal paperwork quick start guide and uh, app installation guide rf frequency guide this also works on rf frequency uh, that's it keep them aside okay this is the sensor mm. This is lanyard 3M stickers and the sim the tool for to reset uh, for the reset the device. So this is the sensor. Um, this is sensor. These vents you can see vents on the side from where it detects the temperature. So let's keep it set. I will show it later. So this is the inside of the sensor. This is the back cap. Uh, as you can see the slot for the battery and the slot where it did sensor sits and this metal strip is uh, I will show where it's why it was like it was given so it's it's to prevent the PCB from moving that's the thing so this is the battery uh, okay, so this is the PCB see so tiny PCB so this is the PCB okay you can see uh this is the pcb so you can see on the top we have led indicator and uh, see this is the reason for this metal uh, plate is due to it will align in that slot on the pcb and it will prevent the pcb from like moving so not sure they've designed it in this way so that's where it's sitting see it's uh, not sure why they design it but that's the reason so there is no nothing i find like connection between these two that's it sitting in the gap that's it and this is the pcb antenna uh, rf pcb antenna uh, so this is the thing okay and this is the led indicator uh, and the main IOT IC, you can see the main IOT IC. Same, most same, it's also low power IC, IOT IC, consumes very less power as per the TP link topo. So, this is RF chip and oscillator. That's it. And you can see we have here it's just like other TP link sensors smart sensors we have us and uk us and europe <coughs> this is a reset switch uh, the battery holder and this is the main component that uh, humidity and temperature sensor actually this is a automotive grade uh, humidity sensor so you can see it that's the sensor they are using it so this is the thing so so tiny uh, see this is this sits in this way so so this from this slot cavity it uh, uh, it, it uh, like it detects the temperature in the atmosphere and the room see this is the slot this the where it sits the sensor sits so so this is the this is how it was it will be like this so it detects temperature and humidity so good thing is this sensor has inbuilt heater as per the data sheet so that it can uh, see this is the slot where it's opening ventilation to air to pass through uh, 
so this sensor has inbuilt heater so that it can remove condensed moisture and the sensor so that's interesting this has as per the data sheet so so it has so this is the ic i'm talking about so this so this is the point where it us and uh, you can see there is no capacitor over there so this is not a us version so this is a u version european version so we have uh, capacitor at the sorry at the register at the uh, u, u side so this is led indicator i already told so or if i see it uh, let's see this is iot chip uh, so this is the battery there that it uses so cr this is, big, this is not not normal 20 uh, this this a this is a, see the green led indicator <clears throat> that's it guys thanks for watching please subscribe